What's going on everybody? Frank here for the Bakersfield Gentleman, my brother Miguel at The Nest, and we are here to give you guys another review. Um, today I am going to be taking a look at a cigar that I've been really, really excited to try, and thanks to Provada Club, I finally got my hands on one. It is the Pier 28, and I am taking a look today at the Havano in uh, Corona Gorda uh, by Pier 28 Cigars. Nice, nice. And today, uh, it's not something I haven't had before. Actually, I believe I had had this in shop. But it's a very popular brand that is pretty new to us. And it is McAuliffe de la Hero. It comes in four sizes, guys. Uh, it has a Sumatran wrapper with an Ecuadorian binder, Dominican, and Nicaraguan fillers. It is going to be on the heavier side because on their website it is listed under the Grande Bold. And uh, I don't think they put that for just no reason, guys. But uh, we needed to get to this. It is very popular in shop. It's spreading throughout California like crazy. And if it's in your area, I think you definitely should try it. If it's not, hop on their website. They have the store located like many of the other sites or the other companies do as well. So find them in your area, and I want you to try this with me. You are not going to be disappointed. Now, the Pier 28 Habano, um, we actually do not carry in the shop, and that's why I haven't tried it yet. But it has a Habano Cafe wrapper, Nicaraguan binder. The fillers are Nicarag Nicaraguan and Dominican. And it looks like here on smallbatchcigars.com, you can get a five-pack for $39.95 and a 10-count box for $72, making it $7.20 a stick. It's not bad. Not bad. Not, not bad at all. Um, what are you getting off that smell, though? Let's see. Let's you see know, that. this smell is really unique. It is sweet. It is floral. It is earthy. It is really, really nice. Yes. All right. You want to hand me that cutter there? Sure. Oh no, my scar prop. Your scar prop prop. There we go. Luckily, they're steel. So that's going to be just fine if you drop it a few times. <laughs> that was not intentional, by the way. I was not trying to prove a point. But the point is the fact it won't break on you. Mmm. That's a nice smell. Almost sweet. There is a... Nice. Good draw. It's got a little bit of salt to it, I think. A little, salt. a little saltiness in there. That makes sense for a pier. Right? Already already off to a good start with that. A little saltiness, a little bit of a fruit uh, in there. Um, like a grapefruit. Huh, okay. So some citrus notes. Yeah. I like that. I already cut mine, guys, so I'm just going to go ahead and... Very nice draw. And I, I want to quickly thank Andy from uh, Christoph for the lighter. Oh, yeah, thanks. I was going to... Totally forgot I left it there. A little bit of spice on there already, which I was expecting. Something's supposed to be a little heavier. Not a whole lot. A little bit of hay. A little bit of hay on that dry draw, so... I'll go ahead and light this up. that up right there. Want a single point? Nah, I'll be all right. Sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do, guys. I'm getting a little bit of a pepper spice on the back of the throat. Um, definitely a woodsy, nutty flavor coming through. Again, that, that flavor that I often get sometimes in cigars, that yeast flavor is there. That bread yeast flavor. Okay, I like that. All right. I don't get that very often, so it's nice. No, but it's a very pronounced flavor. So if you get that flavor, you know that's what it is. There you go. If you're a baker, you're really going to enjoy that. Or you're going to hate it because you have yeast in your life all the time. What you're not going to hate is this guy right here. I'm already getting a nice leathery note right off the bat, which I was really surprised that it was going to be so quickly. Because mm -hmm. usually that kind of takes some time to build on me. Um, there is that spice there from the uh, the cold draw, the dry draw. I don't know what I call it that. It's a cold draw. Apologize, guys. Um, which I, I was expecting. Mm -hmm. And it's nice. The leathery spice. It's great for a heavy, full-bodied cigar. Uh, almost a little bit of sweetness there, like what I was getting from the smell when I was smelling the, uh, the wrapper itself. So just literally lighting and starting. I'm already happy with what I'm getting here. And I've noticed that a lot of guys have said the exact same thing when they're smoking McAuliffe. The whether it's our buddy Bob who likes the Connecticut's or buddy Wayne who seems like everyone they Every come out with. Every single thing they make. He actually went and uh, Cigars and More got a sampler which has one of every cigar that they make excluding um, the private blend. And yep. uh, he bought it 
And he said that as he smoked them, the ones he liked, he would put the bands back. He said he put them all back. So, I'm, I'm not, I don't want to persuade anybody out there, but that's a pretty good sign. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to getting into this. You ready to get into this? I'm ready to get into this. I'm, I'm already liking the, how this Pier 28 is starting, so, um, so far. Um, please, but again, we're barely getting in, guys. So uh, let's get into the first third mic and be back with a little recap. All right, guys, so getting into the second third here, uh, as far as construction goes on this Pier 28, it's been phenomenal. Uh, burners almost ready to sharp jaws, excellent. Um, smoke output is phenomenal. Uh, even though the foot smoke is not as much as I'd like to see, the actual smoke output when you take your draws is great. Uh, my ash was actually holding on in a solid chunk. It was, did start to lilt, as you saw, and right before we started uh, uh, filming again, uh, I went to take another draw, and the darn thing fell off. So, uh, But it was a solid uh, almost inch and a half uh, chunk, so... Um, very well in construction. As far as flavors go, Mike, still getting that yeastiness. Not a whole lot of spice left, but I'm definitely getting that citrus in there, and I'm starting to get those um, uh, green tea flavors in there as well. Nice. Very so, nice. Um, super happy with this so far. Um, I can see why it's so popular on Instagram right now, and I'm really happy uh, Provada Club uh, sent this in, in this month's pack. So, so far, first, third, you know, judgment. You'd want to see it at the shop? You want to see I, that close I by? definitely would. This Habano is great. Um, the, the, the name of the wrapper, Habano Cafe, threw me off a bit. I thought I was going to get a lot of coffee flavors, but I'm getting that wood. I'm getting that yeast. I'm getting that citrus. I'm getting that tea. And uh, it's it's complex because it's hitting on different areas of your palate. I like that. But they're all coming together beautifully. So, again, that's something that Mel from M. Bombay talked to us about. Um, you don't want to be too heavy on one side or the other of the spectrum of flavors. You want them all to mix beautifully. And so far for this Pier 28, that's exactly what it's doing. That's great. I love to hear that. Mike, how's your Macau Flajero going? Pretty dang spectacular, guys. I mean, there's a reason why they're so popular. This is a phenomenal stick. I've also not broken my ash off either. I'm going to go ahead and do that right now, just so you can see how well it falls. One solid chunk. Love that. Smoke output's been great. The uh, draw's excellent. Construction is great. Uh, I'm a little further than my one-third, probably into my second third a little bit here, but the flavors are incredible. I'm getting that leatheriness still. A nice woodness, uh, a little bit of sweet, and a little bit of pepper on the front of my tongue still. Uh, not as heavy on pepper as I thought it was going to be. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of a nice surprise for me because I didn't, I wasn't looking forward to a whole lot of pepper right now, and it is exactly what I wanted in this moment. Um, and when we're doing reviews, it's not so much what I want to do; it's just what we have, what we should be mm -hmm. reviewing. Um, so that's you know double win for me right there. Um, I cannot wait to get into this some more, guys. It is just. Absolutely phenomenal. How you digging the size? I would. I actually wish I had a little bigger. Really? I can already tell. Like I would really enjoy this. It's a good size. Uh, I'm thinking I'm gonna get like a good 45 to almost an hour out of this guy. So far, what we got about 25 minutes almost, if that. Um, the burn's a little quick, maybe. But honestly, it's it's a five inch cigar, so it's not gonna be a super long cigar. I'm really surprised how fast yours is burning compared to mine, since mine is a thinner ring gauge. I thought I'd be going through it a little bit faster, but I gotta say. They call this a Corona Gorda, and I'm really digging this this shape of the, the side of the cigar. It's about um, if a Toro and a Lancero had a baby, and they met somewhere in the middle with length and size. And I don't know why, but I immediately thought of the movie Tombstone when I saw the size of this cigar. Um, the the scene where uh, Kurt Russell, who plays Wyatt Earp, goes into the saloon, and is like, I wouldn't mind one of those cigars. And he hands him a cigar, and it just reminds me of the shape of that cigar. And I was like, that's an interesting size, and I really dig it. I know there's a website that will tell you what cigars are. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I want, I got to find out what cigars it is now. I would like to, to look that up. Um, yeah, I, I would, I'd be curious to know what they used for that. And uh, it is. That, that does remind me of it now that you mentioned mm -hmm. it. That's pretty good. Uh, I didn't even think about that until right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So we'll get into these second thirds and be back with you in just a bit. All right, guys. So I'm barely starting to get into my last third here. Um Construction has maintained its excellence. Uh, again, uh, the ash fell off uh, right when I was trying to take off the band. And one solid about inch and a half chunk. I will give you this, though. You dropped it a little bit sooner before we started recording. Mm -hmm. This time than the first time. So it's got a nice little pile of ash on the table going. That you thank, guys can't see. Thank goodness we, we switched to a black table for the reviews. So you can definitely see where we wiped off ash. If you ever looked directly at the table. So we're not going to let you do that because mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's getting bad. I even dropped some over here as you guys can kind of see in front. Um, that's just me. I accidentally tapped the, uh, the ash or the, uh, the lighter right here. Not the cigar's fault. 
Uh, as far as flavors go for this Pure 28, you guys, uh, pretty much the same flavors. I'm still getting that tea in there, uh, but I'm actually getting some sugar in there as well. Ah, so it's, it's a coming sweetness in. coming in. I'm still getting a nice, um, um, rich cedar wood and a little bit of citrus. The citrus is kind of falling by the wayside a little bit and actually picked up uh, a bit of a, more of a pepper. Nice. Um, but it's been a nice little transition. A subtle transition, but a nice transition. How about you, Mike? How's that McAuliffe Lajero? It is great. Not as strong as I was thinking it was going to be. It might just be because I've had a full day. I've eaten. Um, I'm kind of winding down, which is a good time to have a heavy cigar when you're going to end the day, I think. Mm -hmm. um, I'd rather start, or rather, yeah, I'd rather start a little more mild and end with a strong note. And this is perfect uh, for closing off the day right now. Uh, the flavors are still very much there. The spice is ramped up a little bit. Um, the leather is taking kind of a back seat to the wood picking up. There's a good sweetness coming throughout the entire thing. And, man, it is just excellent, guys. Construction's been great. My ash is staying on very well. Um, cannot say enough good things about it. I'm, I'm very much enjoying this, and I can't wait to hear what you guys think about the McAuliffe uh, Lajero as well. Awesome, awesome. All right, guys, we're going to finish out these sticks and get back to the conclusion in just a second. All right, guys, so my Pure 28 is getting pretty darn warm. Just about the last little bit left here. So you can see the ash held on very well this last third. So let's see if I can set it down on my cigar prop. I did. All right. Excuse me. Uh, flavors continue to be really, really good. Um, still got that nice wood, that, that bit of spice ramped up. It did get a bit bitter because it's getting pretty warm. Um, that smaller ring gauge uh, just lends itself to getting warm a little bit quicker, I think. Um, still got that great herbaly tea flavor in there with that little bit of uh, sugar in it. So it's kind of like an iced tea almost, if you will. Huh. Um, still that citrus on the back end there. Very, very nice. Super happy I finally got to try one of these Pure 28s. Um, so thank you to Provada Club for that. Uh, super, super happy I finally got to try one. And it's one I would highly recommend to people that like those flavors. Uh, as far as the strength goes, uh, I would say it was a... In my opinion, it was a mild to medium at best. Uh, it didn't really ramp up, uh, but then again, I do like a stronger cigar, so my, my strength level uh, might be a tick higher than some people, so um, I would go ahead and label it as a medium. Okay. I would say for being part of the more bold line, it's probably more medium full, not quite full, which was fine with me. The sweetness that I was getting just a little bit was pretty much all gone by the end. The spice ramped up a bit, but that leatheriness and the woodiness was still there very much. I was enjoying a lot, guys. Very much enjoying that. Construction was great. My ash kept falling off in solid chunks. I got down to this last little bit that's barely sitting on here, as you can see. And I enjoyed it all the way through. But again, mine was also getting warm. So I wanted to cut it right there. Uh, if you have not had a McAuliffe yet, I definitely rec recommend trying it. I think you can hop in pretty much anywhere on the line, uh, depending on your strength levels that you like. And uh, really enjoy these cigars. And uh, again, really glad we have them in the shop. Mm -hmm. I hope you guys can try them out too. And uh, I want to hear your opinions on it. Mine is, it is phenomenal. Love this. And I know I'm going to go back to it quite often. Yeah, I can't agree more with you. I absolutely love McAuliffe. Uh, again, I'm really new to McAuliffe. I've been smoking them for about a month or so. Uh, but really, really great. A new uh, boutique to definitely add to the rotation. Absolutely. Um, as well as this Pure 28. If we don't get them in the shop, I'm going to be one that I'm going to be ordering. I think it's going to have to happen. Yeah. Yeah. Really, really good stuff. So. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. I want to thank Bravada Club uh, for setting it in this month's uh, subscription pack. And uh, I also got one of the McAuliffe Lajeros from Virgil from Culebras. It was part of our taster yes, uh, this you. past night. So thank you, Virgil, for that one. And thank you to everybody from Culebras. Uh, Jeff and Cam for hosting, making some incredible food. Yeah. And to the, all the guys, you know, Blake and Jeff and Good Randy, Chuck, uh, Jeremy, um, Dave, everybody that came out. Uh, great to see those guys and get to hang out. So, um just a great night over there. Absolutely. It was a lot of fun. Uh, if you have something like that in your area, I would recommend checking it out. Uh, if you are in the Bakersfield area or you know at least close by, come check out Calibra sometime. Mm -hmm. It's definitely worth the trip. And uh, yeah, uh, that's all I have right now. Uh, just <laughs> on the last note for this Pure 28, I actually would recommend uh, pairing it uh, with some iced tea or if not, uh, some sort of Perrier sparkling water. I mm. think that would go really well with it. Um, Good pick. Or maybe even just a, a Sprite. Okay, so you want something with a little citrus note mm -hmm. in there uh, to kind of... I think I it would really highlight some of those it. notes. Yeah. yeah. I like so, that. All right, guys. Uh, that'll do it for us. Hope you guys enjoyed this review, and you guys will tune in to us next time. Make sure to follow us on The Bakersfield Gentleman on both YouTube and Facebook, or you can follow us on Instagram and Twitter at BakoGent661. And don't forget to check out our Patreon as well. We do some extra content for you guys. 
uh, some reviews you can only find on our Patreon, as well as some tutorials on Patreon, and some photo shoots that we do with the models from time to time. I uh, will be on there exclusively for Patreon. So uh, if you guys are able to, check that out. Help us get to all of our goals, and we will see you guys next time. Have a good one, guys.